Now, we are now again meeting. Uh, remember, it is the first week and the second week of the first month of the year, 2024. An year where God spoke to me in a clear, specific way is a year of breakthrough. A year of breakthrough. We covered the first part of this message last time. And now I'd like to reach how God is going to release this breakthrough. One, when God changes your position, just as we saw last time, but Myers, in Mark chapter 10 from verse 46 to 48, this man was sitting beside the road, but when Jesus healed him, he walked on the road. Where did the change come from? When but Myers changed from the roadside to the feet of Jesus. I would like to explain what happens when you reach there. At the feet of Jesus, you bow to the king of kings. Rebelliousness does not exist there. I'm explaining some traits, some breakthrough that emanates from when you change your position from being away and you come closer at the feet of Jesus Christ. At the feet of Jesus Christ. You know, I was surprised one day when I read the book of Matthew, chapter 15, verse 30. The Bible says, people placed, let me read that scripture. That is Matthew, uh, chapter 15, uh -huh, verse 30. And great multitudes came to him, having with them the lame, blind, mute, maimed, and many others, and they laid them down at Jesus' feet, and he healed them. So the multitude marveled when they saw the mute speaking, the maimed made her, the lame walking, and the blind seeing, and they glorified the God of Israel. At the feet of Jesus, all these desperate issues were laid. At the feet of Jesus, it was their point of breakthrough. What happens there? At the feet of Jesus, you bow at the king of kings. At the feet of Jesus, you get what we call kingdom level. You are never a beggar. But Myos used to beg beside the Lord. At the feet of Jesus, he was removed from Sitting beside the Lord from begging, he walked on the Lord and he was a complete blessed citizen like others. At the feet of Jesus, you do not see the mountain. You get the finished work of the resurrected Christ. Remember in Zechariah chapter 4 verse 6 and 7? Yes, the issue of the of, of Zerubbabel building the temple, it was almost impossible but God changed this man. And, and the confession church changed. If you go to verse 7, it says, Who are you, thou great mountain? Before Zerubbabel, the Lord will reduce you into plain. Whereby at the feet of Jesus, you don't fear mountains. You speak to the mountain. Can you imagine, instead of praying for the mountain, you speak to the mountain. Have you ever known, when you pray deeply, there are times you get there. Instead of crying for healing, you declare healing. Instead of crying for money, you declare you are rich. Instead of crying about somebody, you declare that person is defeated. It's what we call a position where you get the finished work of the research of Christ. Another thing that happens at the feet of Christ is a place to lay your sacrifice. That's what happened when, when Abra met Melchizedek. Genesis 14 Verse 18, the Bible says, Melchizedek was king who has no uh, beginning and end. This was God. It was Jesus Christ. And the Bible says, right there, when Abraham noticed that, he, by liberation, by God's grace, he laid Melchizedek, king of Salem, brought out bread and wine, and he was the priest of the Most High. And he blessed him. Mm -hmm. Blessed be Abraham of God's most high, possessor of heaven and earth. Blessed be God most high, 
who has delivered your enemies into your hands. And what happened? And Abraham gave him a tithe of all. That's very important. That at the feet of Jesus you lay your sacrifice. At the feet of Jesus you receive final word that gives perfect healing and restoration. At the feet of Jesus the fear is no longer at work. That's what happened in Revelation chapter 1 verse 17 and 18. When God said to John, son of Zebedee, fear not. I'm the one who died and I'm alive forevermore. I am Alpha and Omega and in my hands are the keys to death and Hades. That's what happened. A revelation of complete victory of Christ and you fear no more. At the feet of Jesus, you get the orders for battles, orders of how to do things. If you go to um, Joshua chapter 5, Joshua chapter 5, let's check Joshua chapter 5, uh, verse 15. Uh -huh. Joshua chapter 5, verse 15. Let's see. Uh, we should be there now. Mm-hmm. Yes, at the feet of Jesus. You know, when, when, when Joshua was in his own way planning to enter the city of Jericho and overturn and overtake it, God knew. He had to, God knew this was his project. God's project. And then the Bible says, uh -huh, Joshua met somebody. If you go to verse 13 of Joshua chapter, 5, chapter 5. And it came to pass when Joshua was by Jericho that he lifted his eyes and looked. And behold, a man stood opposite him with his sword drawn in his hands. With his sword drawn in his hands. And Joshua went to him and said to him, Are you for us or for our adversaries? So he said, no, but I am, but as the commander of the armies of the Lord, I have now come. And Joshua fell on his face to the earth and worshipped and said to him, what does my Lord say to his servant? Now, at the feet of Jesus, you find yourself behaving that way. What does the Lord say now to his servant? It's at that place where we receive orders, methodologies, and programs. At the feet of Jesus, you pray and get clear away, and you are delivered from struggle. Instead of struggling, struggling, guessing, not having a clear way, that one ends, and you get a clear way. At the feet of Jesus, our minds are delivered from fear and limitations. That's what the Bible says, we can do all things through Christ who gives us strength. Philippians chapter 4 verse 13. At the feet of Jesus, you get word from the side of God that bridges the gap between your heart and the will of God. Something comes from God and it bridges the gap between our hearts and God. That's what happened. Surely, at the feet of Jesus, we get our breakthrough. At the feet of Jesus, we are no longer at the conditions that are around, prevailing around us. Around the village, around the family, no. You are no longer at those conditions. It is at the feet of Jesus, which is a place of deliverance. If you read the book of Luke, uh -huh. Luke, Luke, uh, chapter, maybe I can read that, uh -huh. Luke chapter uh, 8 verse 35, let's read that scripture, 8 verse 35, mm -hmm. then they went out to see what happened and came to Jesus and found the man from whom the demons had departed 
was sitting at the feet of Jesus Christ, clothed and with his right mind, and they were afraid. Look at the three outcomes of deliverance that are product of getting to the feet of Christ. One, this man who was new to, had, to have had so many demons, when delivered, he sat at the feet of Jesus Christ. I say he sat at the feet of Jesus Christ. Sitting means you are settled, you are covered, and you are delivered. Number two, he was clothed. Clothing means cover and sensitivity. And number three, he was in his right mind. Not so many people have been able to attain their right mind. You are still suppressed. This man was delivered. And one of the outcome of deliverance is having your right, gifted, talented mind start operating. That's very important. If you are going to experience 2024 as year of point of breakthrough, an year of point of breakthrough, that's very, very important. When you are at the feet of Jesus, you see things clearly. You are not left you are not left with unclear life. That's what happened in Mark chapter 8 verse 22. The bright man from Bethsaida, Christ touched him the first time. And he said, I can see people walking like trees. Christ did not release him. No, no, no. Let me touch you second time. When he was touched second time, he said, I can see everything clearly. At the feet of Jesus, you will not be released to see things like people like tree, money like, no, no, no. Christ, you like to touch you again and you get out there seeing things clearly. At the feet of Jesus, where the point of breakthrough emanates from, you are, you are comfortable, peaceful, and you are covered. Three things. You are comfortable. Number two, you are peaceful. And number three, you are covered. At the feet of Jesus, you get a clear assurance at the time of defeat. If you read 2 Samuel chapter 30, when David and his strong men came back and found tents are burnt down, everything is destroyed, and Amalekites had carried all children and their wives. They cried. David and his strong men cried until they had no more strength to cry. And people had option to stone David. But David gathered strength. Bible says he strengthened himself in the Lord his God. And he put on the effort and asked God, God, do I learn after Amalekites? God said, yes. Will I get back all the children and all the wives? Yes, do it. At the feet of Jesus, you get clearance and defeat is overcome. Even if you had cried until you have no more strength to cry, that one you stop and God will give you new strength to restore uh, your family, to restore your business, to restore things to order. In Jesus Christ's name, at the feet of Jesus, you see the way. Uh-huh. In this manner, Jesus will release you into your business. Christ will release you into your way, into your career. He will release you so that you can go and make progress. You can go and win. And you can go and make a profit or have an achievement. In Jesus' name, at the feet of Jesus, where I am, I am now, I want to reach a new life on you. A life whereby from today you make progress. From today you will win. And from today you will make profit and bear fruits every month. That's what God says about the new life in him. The new life in him. And brothers and sisters, just ask but the man was set free at the feet of Jesus. Just as people brought the desperate issues at the feet of Christ and they were healed. Just as the Bible is saying, 
at the feet of Jesus, people are clothed, they are covered. Just as we have said, at the feet of Christ, God will give you new orders like Joshua. God will release you with capacity to make progress and to win. Now I release you with those three things. I believe I'm studying right where Christ is. And by the authority of his grace and his anointing, I release the blessings of the feet of Jesus on your business, on your family, on your soul, and everything you are going to do this year. It is going to happen. Please set yourself apart for it. In Christ we bless you.